Apple credit card. Oh, oh dude, dude, why did I try? What's going on, guys? It's Ryan here. And Taylor. In today's video, we're talking about Apple, but more specifically, the Apple credit card. For us, for the most part, it wasn't anything a big deal, but we've heard so much about it. We're like, we got to look into this, see what the hype is, and see if it's worth the hype. So let's jump into this video. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again. Yeah, guys, everyone knows who Apple is. They're familiar with their game, mainly with the electronic side of things, of course. I feel like everyone's got the iPhone now nowadays. Uh, they've been getting into all different types of places, and this happens to be the credit card. So getting right into it, they have no annual fee. In fact, they cut down on a lot of fees. There's no over the limit, foreign transaction, or late fees, which is something rare to see, but something we obviously love to see. CCC. <laughs> And another little feature that I, of course, like myself, because I've experienced one before, is having a metal credit card. This is the titanium card that packs a punch. <laughs> and the way you said it, this is a titanium card that packs a punch. Mm. I think you're going to give it a little bit of at the end. Yeah, you may have heard us talk about this before. A lot of the premium cards are the ones that are trying to stand out, like to do the metal cards, which yeah. are very cool. Very cool to show off to mm -hmm. friends and just to use if you're swiping it. Like, 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 like it's just neat. Yeah. Um, but these titanium cards are a little bit different and a little more sustainable, I guess, because they're not plastic. And having the no annual fee, the no late fee, the no over the limit fee, like all of that doesn't makes me think it's not a credit card. It's not yeah, a credit card yeah. company. And it's clearly not a credit card company. It's Apple. But like you always th see those credit card companies finding little fees. You don't use it at least this much. We're going to charge you for an activity. All this BS. And Apple's like, screw that. Like there's none of those fees, which is really, really cool to see. Very much seems like they're on your side. So. Cool to see out of a credit card. Yeah. It's all a mental game. Yeah. They're getting us in yep, yep. <laughs> So, of course, getting into the actual benefits, you earn daily cash on a lot of categories. And this is unlimited cash back, which, of course, we love to see. Getting right into the actual percentages, you earn 3% back on all things Apple. This is an Apple credit card. Of course, they're going to offer a good cash back on their products. They want you, obviously, in their ecosystem buying their things. So, 3%, pretty good right there. Yeah. And whether you're buying the latest iPhone, the your signing up for the Apple Music subscription, uh, making in-app purchases, all of that's 3% back, which is really cool. New MacBook, anything like that. So if you know you're a big iPhone fan or a big Apple fan in general, yeah, you're yeah. going to buy the new headphones, you're going to buy the AirPods, you're going to buy Apple Watch, Goodness. and you're like, hey, you're getting 3% back over and over again, so it might be worth your time. And then you earn 2% cash back with Apple Pay, obviously Apple ecosystem, 1% back with using the actual physical card. So they're promoting you, of course, to use Apple Pay, but still 1%, pretty standard using the physical card. So that, that's honestly a little unique because for the most part, every credit card company has their categories or has their yeah. quarterly updates where now you can get 3%, 5% on gas stations. Like a lot of them do that. Mm -hmm. While Apple's saying if you use our iPhone or you use Apple Pay with a watch, we're going to give you 2% on everything. Yeah. Groceries, gas, everything. Then if you use our physical card, it's going to be 1%. So it's just different. It kind of pushes you to always want to use the iPhone or the Apple Watch and pay versus the physical card, um, which I don't really know their end goal, to be honest. Yeah, but yeah. Honestly, that, the fact that they're not doing the categories, they're just 2%, 1%, makes it very nice and easy not mm -hmm. having to keep up with all that. Yeah. Although they're kind of taking away the point of having a metal credit card. I like slamming that thing down now. <laughs> now I'm not getting that extra 1%. Yeah, yeah. You just pay with your Apple Pay and <laughs> yeah. slam it down. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put that there. Yeah, yeah. That's this, you know. <laughs> so we did mention that purchasing apple products gives you three percent cash back however there is a nice little secret bonus certain merchants do give you that three percent anyways so if you do uber nike walgreens and you purchase with them through apple pay yeah. apple does still give you three percent so if you look at that you, it'll tell you which ones they are um, but if you shop at these places often it could still be worth your time to get 3% cash back at Uber and all these others. It's kind of a big deal, especially if you are like Taylor, you travel all the time. Yeah, you yeah. You can get 3% back on all that travel with Uber. Yeah, so that's a cool little thing. Uh, you know, some people are like, well, I'd only buy this card and use it for Apple products, which I don't buy that often. Yeah. There are big purchases, though, so they still very well could be worth it. But having a few partnerships with different merchants definitely sweetens the pot for sure. And there's way more than the three or four I just mentioned. Yeah, so yeah. you just have to look through them and see if those are the places you go often. Um, but it's nice that like a Walgreens is there. And so you can get groceries, you yeah, get yeah. medical supplies, all that stuff. Um, and then Uber for travel, and then Nike. So there's a lot of cool things that you can check out and still get that 3%, which as we've talked about previously, most like top cash back credit cards give you 2%. Yeah. So if it's places you frequently shop, totally worth the time. 
Now, in addition to that, you can choose to send your daily cash to a high yield savings account within the wallet app, and you're gonna earn a pretty nice annual percentage yield or APY on that money. Right now it's 4.4% and there's no minimum deposits, no fees, and you just get to watch your money grow. Again, that to me doesn't sound like a credit card. Company. Yeah, yeah. You're earning cash back and they're automatically earning you more on that cash back. That mm -hmm. sounds like someone that is on your team, mm -hmm. is working for you and helping to take care of a lot of that. Like, yeah, if you're in cash back and just sits there, like you're not doing much with it, but they're basically saving it at a high percentage for you that you can access and send to your friends on Apple Pay, pay for things. That's really neat, like a yeah. feature that I wouldn't have guessed. Yeah, because if you're not familiar with savings accounts and everything, a standard savings account is getting you basically nothing. Yeah. So a high yield savings account, especially with Apple and everything, that's a pretty nice offering right there. And Apple does offer a family style or share share the benefits type credit card. So if you want to share with your loved ones, add a family member to your Apple card account. Um, you can easily do that, uh, whether it's your partner, your kids, um, that quirky uncle. Everyone gets their own unlimited daily cash back card, which is pretty cool. It's like a financial potluck you're all earning together. And kind of an additional little thing to that 3% back on Apple products, they offer installment plans with their products. So, you know, you need to buy a new MacBook or a new iPhone. You're like, I can't pay it all right now. Well, they'll offer monthly interest-free plans for their products, which, yeah. you know, can make it much more feasible for a lot of people to get the new uh, iPhone or gadget or anything. I'm still rocking the iPhone 7, so maybe this is something I'll look into just for that, yes. you know, just... Nice little uh, home button you got. Yeah, I don't, I don't even really have an excuse. <laughs> I can buy a new phone right now. I'll just... And know. trust me, I dog him for yeah, it, hoping yeah. eventually he'll buy. Because you'll text him three days later, he'll yeah, get a response. Yeah. Just got your message. Yeah. Come on, dude. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, I really don't have any issues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think this is a card. If you're already a part of the Apple ecosystem or you're one of those people that has to get the new iPhone every year, maybe take a chance, you know, apply for it. They got good limits and everything. Yeah. No hit to your credit just for applying. A lot of cards do that nowadays. Yeah. You know, so it's really a matter of, you know, whether or not you like Apple, because this is the big, biggest benefit with Apple. If you're a Samsung guy, frankly, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah. you do you, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. This isn't, you know, pro professional advice or anything. This is just kind of things we wanted to put out there for you to kind of do your own research and make a judgment for yourself and if it fits what your lifestyle is. Again, we've said this before, don't move or change your lifestyle to fit a card. The card needs to fit your lifestyle. Absolutely. But we just wanted to kind of put this out there. And if you think that, you know, Apple's offering a great thing, let us know down in the comments or Maybe you think it's a trick and they're like, oh, you're just getting sucked in deeper into the <laughs> Apple world. Uh, let us know down in the comments. We really love to hear from you guys. Yeah, as Taylor said, this is not financial advice. We're not telling you to move and buy this card or uh, go apply. Um, nothing like that. Just a cool card. We saw some cool features. So we decided to put it out there and hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for our one next week and don't forget to like and subscribe. Stop with the money on that dumb shit And instead put it in investment I know it's tempting You'll spend it and be broke again